Policing falls in line with the military. It, um, there's a good transition. The port supports everything that you come in here with from the military, all the skills that I learned. They understood my skills, they were aware of my abilities, and they harnessed my abilities and made me better. We hire a lot of veterans because they bring with them life, exper they bring with them life experiences that we need. I've never seen uh, an organization that's more supportive of veterans and, uh, and people that are currently um, in active reserve or, or National Guard service. But you've had those opportunities either from military or uh, previous agency uh, that they'll capitalize on and, and use those strengths to further the department. Yeah. I was living in this area. I was, I was stationed here at, at a McCord on the Air Force Base. And then I landed here, loved the area. Um, I got married here. And so I stayed and got this job, and it's been phenomenal. I was a military bomb dog handler for eight years, and then I managed up to I managed to get with the port, and I won't go anywhere. I've been here for 19 years now. I enlisted in the army right out of high school, I was both on active duty, and uh, I was uh, I enlisted in the army in 1986. Spent my time on active duty. I, w I went, got to the rank of E6, actually E5. I went to officer candidate school was an E6 when I graduated, became a lieutenant, did time on active duty and in the reserve component as an officer. I joined the Army National Guard in 1990, and uh, right after I got out of basic training, was uh, my unit was federalized in support of Operation Desert Storm, so uh, I deployed to Saudi Arabia in support of that effort. I was an active um, Army for about six years, and since then, I've got in, gone into the Air National Guard, and, and um, the port's been very accommodating with uh, guard work and reserve work, um, uh, providing time for us to go and serve military duty. So it had been a few years since I had left the military. Um, when I was getting ready to attend the academy here, it was, I was made aware, being a, a Montgomery GI Bill recipient, that the police academy qualified me to draw my VA benefits, which I wound up doing. And then when I was separating from the Air Force, I started thinking about my next step and what my next career was going to be. Um, I started looking at police work. I wanted to continue my service, that spirit of service in law enforcement. We are the largest economic engine for the Pacific Northwest. We are the most critical piece of infrastructure for recovery for the Pacific Northwest. So when there is a catastrophic event anywhere in the Northwest, we have to operate. And we know that veterans already understand that sacrifice. And really, they understand how to work in a team environment. They understand that they're, they're part of that mutual accountability. We're lucky in that we, we draw people from all over the country, from all different backgrounds, from military veterans that, that recently came off active duty with, with overseas experience, to people from training, you know, or people from other agencies across the country that have been in, in different encounters. And, and we have a huge amount of experience to draw off of. The people skills and dealing with, with various people and diversity is huge here. We see people from all walks of life coming through the airport and my military service has absolutely helped me integrate that piece of it into the, the law enforcement piece here. I guess when I came over here it was um, just the next step from going from Army to policing. I recommend this to anybody in the military that uh, they, they find that this is something, the career they want to follow, this is the best department. It harnesses the skills we had in the military, especially as a military police officer. It's the exact same skills that we work here at the port. We've had several department members deploy for uh, Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraq, Operation Iraqi Freedom. And so, uh, but again, yeah, they're super supportive. We take care of them while they're gone. We make sure their families are taken care of while they're gone and deployed. And then we really reintegrate them back into the family when they come back. Every Veterans Day, they to host a, a luncheon and a little reception for those that have served in the military. Uh, they, they provide uh, great opportunities um, and make recognition of those who have served. So I, I would say it's very welcoming. This is awesome work if you're coming from the military. It's a great transition. It's an easy transition because you're already familiar with the lifestyle. So we need those men and women who have made hard decisions and sacrificed for our bigger picture because that's what we do. Honestly, it's a really good department. I love it. I, I honestly would not go anywhere else.